<coughs> My name's Stephen Wolf, and let's continue. Hey, Dad. Welcome back to Earth, Goku. Hey, guys. How did you know I was going to be here? This guy told us. <coughs> this guy told us. I, uh, I think he might be a fan of yours. He's a mystery man. He knows all about you, Daddy. Huh? But how? He knew the exact time and place of your arrival. That's impossible! We've never met! He must have been tracking your ship in outer space or something. Really? Hey, where's Frieza anyway? I sensed he was on his way here, and I tried to get here as fast as I could. This guy defeated him. He turned into a Super Saiyan and picked him apart. Goku, can I have a word with you? Sorry about all the secrecy, but I really need your word that you won't tell anyone else what I'm about to say. Oh, pardon me. Well, well, I've never had a problem keeping secrets, but sure, you have my word. My name is Trunks. This is going to sound really strange, but I'm not from this time. I traveled here in a time machine from 20 years in the future. Really? From the future? That's incredible! Yes, Vegeta was right. Only he, yourself, and Gohan have Saiyan blood, and I got mine from him. He's my father. What? You're kidding! I'll be born two years from now. Haha! <laughs> no kidding! Vegeta's gonna be a daddy! I didn't come here to tell you that. I have to talk to you about something. In three years, on the morning of May 12th, at 10 a.m., two powerful entities will show up on a mem a membo a membo island. They have dreadful power, even by our standards. They're monsters, Goku. Once they show up, the Earth and everything you know will be gone for good. What's the deal? Are they aliens? No, they're both androids created right here on Earth. Their creator is Doctor Duro, the mastermind behind the Red Ribbon Army. Do you remember? Yeah, I defeated him. You mean he lived? Thanks to you. Look, I'm sorry to say that, Goku. I know you're a good person, but letting Dr. Jiro escape was a mistake. That will come back to haunt you. He's probably working on those androids as we speak. I'm still not sure where his lab is. If I knew, I'd pay him a visit instead of you. You defeated Frieza in a in in flash, and yet, from what you're saying, these androids are even stronger than you? They are. Hunting me down is one of their favorite hobbies. But it's two against one, so there isn't much I can do besides run. What? What? What about the others? Aren't they helping you out? Three years from now, the Earth's special forces will be wiped out. I'm all that's left. Piccolo is gone, and without him, the Dragon Balls are gone, too. So there is no chance of reviving anyone using a wish from the Dragon Balls. Wait a second, Trunks. What happened to me? Did they defeat me as well? No. Not too long from now, you're going to catch a new virus that attacks the heart. You won't survive it. What? What? Oh, man. What a bummer! Being killed by a stupid virus. I want to fight th these androids. I didn't even get a chance to take take a crack at them. You're a courageous man, Goku. I'm glad I came here. There you go. Take this. It's for your health. There's no cure now for the virus, but in my time there is. Take this when you get sick, and you'll be fine. You're kidding me! Wow, awesome. It's purple, too. I bet it's grape-flavored. I shouldn't be doing this because it changes history, but some history should be changed. And I'm glad because my mother told me I could trust you. Your mother? Your mother knows me? Who is she? Bulma. Bulma is your mother?! Quiet down or they'll heal you. Oh, sorry. Vegeta and Bulma are your parents? Wow. I don't remember my dad, so it was really great to meet him. He's a cranky guy, but he's impressive. 
Whatever you do, don't mention this to them, otherwise I may never be born. Mm. Goku tell <coughs> Goku tells his friends about the warning from the future. Ow. Chest beam. Ah, uh, near stretch. And so we have three years to train. Whoa, dude. That's hard to wrap your mind around. Say, Kakarot, why don't you explain how you escaped from Namek? <coughs> or where you got that ridiculous outfit, for that matter. I'll have to save that story for another day. I bet Chi-Chi has been frantic waiting for me. Yeah, Dad, let's head home. And... Oh, wow. Yay, woo! Right. Hey, Gohan, you can train in the woods south of here if you want, or go inside the house with me to surprise Chi-Chi. I can train later. Oh, man, my throat is really... Mm. Goku, is that really you? Hi, hon. Sorry I'm late. I guess I shouldn't have taken that laugh turn at Mars. <laughs> no problem. You were only gone for a year and a half. A year and a half! How could you do this to me? I was worried sick. Chi-Chi, I'm sorry, I... Oh, Goku. I can't stay mad at you. I'm just glad you're back. I just want everything to be normal. Well, that's the thing, see... There are these androids that are going to come and destroy civilization in three years, and we have to train so that we're ready for them. What? Goku, you just got back, and already you're planning another fight? This time you've gone too far. Chi-Chi, it's not like I intend for these things to happen. Arrgh. Fine, you go, but Kuhan... But Gohan stays here. I don't want him learning all your bad habits, but Chi-Chi, we need Gohan for the battle. It's important. Gohan has to study. I don't want him to grow up being a muscle-bound thug without a brain. I don't want our only son growing up without an education like his father did. Are you trying to tell me that Gohan's studies are more important than saving the Earth? Fine, Goku. Do what you want, but this is the last time. When this is over, Gohan is going to spend the rest of his life studying. E Study. It's evil. We'll head to the West City next to meet up with Piccolo. Might want to try training a bit in the woods south of here uh, while I get ready to leave. Your father is so selfish. I can't believe him. Yeah, selfish. Mm. <coughs> I wish that healed you. Now. Oh. Ain't this exciting? Watching me beat the crap out of rocks? There are still animals in the wilderness that were transformed into evil beings when Garlic Jr. released his black water mist across the world. The sacred water that we used to, used to re reverse the effects of the mist didn't reach these poor creatures. Since they're more powerful and vicious than the other animals, I should get a good workout training against them and protect the good animals at the same time. When Garlic Jr.'s jar appears in the corner of the screen, it means that you have entered an area that is infected with his black water mist. So you can beat the crap out of... Ow! Snakes! Don't even think it. Anyway, I'll see you for the next video. Um, for about like a minute or so in the next video, I'll do some training. Yeah. Bye-bye.